It's one hot morning here. Well, welcome, friend. I thought I'd try to stay in shape. It's been almost a year since I've been in these old woods. Yeah, besides pulling camera cards for these animals, I haven't been in here metal detecting in almost a year. So I, I can't walk marathons, but I'm doing so much better. But this nerve pain, I can't, can't walk way off just yet. But I gotta stay in shape or I'll never get in these woods. So I thought I'd try to, to find a few old things of these relics. I've been in this ridge a few times over the years, but you never work a place out. And these, these, these old woods just calling my name. So let's see what we can find here today. So stick around. There shows an eight. Let's pinpoint this baby. It shows a little iron though. Don't know, right at the base of this over 200 year old chestnut oak. Now you gotta remember, this ain't an American chestnut. This is a regular chestnut oak. And this has probably been in here since white man came in here. That's how old this is. There ain't many of them left. I hope it's something good, not trash. ground is dry and it's hard. Here we go. Looks like a, a really old 410 shell. See how old that is? Right to face this old tree. Clean it up here. Well, here it is. It's still got paper on it. Down on that dry ground. Under this big tree. And what is it? Well, if I can get it around here where you can see it. Come on, focus. It's a western... Western Super X 410. I'll show a better picture of it right here, but that's still got paper on it. That's an old baby. That's a nice rare find. Western Super X. I'll have to look that up, but that's an old one. Nice, fine shotgun shell, baby. All right, clean up my mess and moving on. Right there's where I found it. And here's the tree. That's an old baby right there. How many squirrels has been shot out of that? in the last 150 years. That thing goes 150 foot tall. 
nice fine here's the kind of nuts it produces too big old acorns big ones these are chestnuts not chestnut oaks I'm not American chestnut just regular chestnut acorns big difference I wish there was some of them left here but they're not moving on seven or eight ten point it probably a 22 I don't know reads off the loaf or shotgun shell. probably a 22 shell they read low like it no iron though Up. Right behind this big cedar tree here. It's down there, whatever it is, under a bunch of roots. Get it out. Under a bunch of rocks, too. See how old this one is. Winchester Field, 12 gauge. You see the date on that one? That's an old baby, buddy. Right under them rocks. Been laying there a long time. That's a nice find. I love to find them. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm moving on. On the top of this rock here, four foot drop off this rock. Right here. I'd say that's a shotgun shell. If, if I can get to it, the trouble is, I don't need to remove it. There's an old hunter on top of this rock hunting these hickory trees. There it is. Shotgun shell. That's an old bullet. You can see it. I'll clean a little bit up here. That's an old bullet. Read just like a shotgun shell. That's an old baby. Get it in my hand. I 
I'm sorry guys. That's an old wad cutter of some kind. Looks like a crayon, a crayon or something, the way they're made. Go. And right off the edge of these rocks. You can't see it, but I'm gonna show it up to you. And that don't do you justice either. This will. Right off the edge of these rocks. There's where I was digging. There's the rock ledge down to there. Oh well. Well, there you go. Moving on. There's a 15 to a 17. No iron. Pinpoint. You better pick it up. Over here. This is an old shotgun shell. Shotgun shell, baby. This is what I love to do. Love it. Let's see what that is. That looks like a 16 gauge. Well, here you go. It better focus. Winchester Ranger, 16 gauge. You see the date on that one. Nice no, fine. Another nice collector. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm moving on. There ain't nothing better than getting out in these old ridges, these old woods. You, so much history has passed here. So much history. And I just love it. It's just just in my nature. And you never know what you'll find. Who passed through here. What things have happened over the years. But I find stuff like this. Here's a little bird's nest. A little bird has worked hard to make this nest. Just fell out of a tree here. Walked up on it. Ain't it precious? But these little animals live hard, short, and hard life. And they're just being pushed back further and further in these old woods. And what do you mean, Donnie? Well, right here's what I mean. On top of this ridge, I'm sorry it's so far away, but I'm trying to zoom in. This is progress. They're taking a ridge top off about two ridges over from here. That's probably why you've heard that noise in the background. Beeping and noises. Subdivision. Hotel. I don't know. I'm next to these old highways. That's just the way it is here in these mountains. At the foothills of the Smokies. Progress is slowly taking our history away. Now I don't mind progress. But I don't like it destroying our ancestry and our heritage. I know one thing, it's 90 degrees up here, but there's a good cool breeze every once in a while blowing up his holler on this ridge. Now I'm just trying to get back in shape to where I can hit these back ridges when the time comes. It's been a hard year for me health-wise. I thank the good Lord for saving my leg and, and taking care of me, so. 
and I thank you all for your prayers. So let's get back at it. See what I can find here in these, this old rocky place. There's a 25 or 26, no iron. My guess, my guess, it's a, it's a boy. That's my guess. Reads awful high, don't it? Shotgun shell. It's a new one. Well, you don't really know. Clean it up here. Winchester Western WW. See right there. No, okay. Add the collection. It's not really an old one. It's probably back in the 50s or 60s. But the shotgun shell. Moving on. Target. 10 or 11, no iron, but I'm not far from the road, so I don't know what this could be. It's a shotgun shell. Shotgun shell, baby. Huh? This rocket needs leaves. Let's see what this one is. It looks like it's an old shape, too. Old shape. Here it is, but I can't tell what it is out here in the field. And it probably ain't going to focus. I'll clean it up. I still can't read it. Pretty bad shape, though. High brass. It's probably a newer shell. I don't know. Looks like it's a number 12. It's a 12 gauge, but what is it? Yeah, I'll clean it up. You'll see a picture beside it here. All right. That's in the rocks. Move it on. Looks snaky up through there, don't it? Yeah, it's tough to watch myself. Moving on. See what that is? That's a wild target. That's all the way up to a twin. Good tone, too. Probably Bryce, in my opinion. Well, there's a snake. Used to be a snake. Baby snake. It ain't there no more. See it? Get out of here. There's more snakes. 
Hey, you better get out of here. Well, guys, here is uh, my find for today. Please forgive me. I can't walk marathons right now. I'm just so glad I'm getting back in the woods. It's been a year since I've been, really about a year since I've been digging at it. But I love just to get back in these woods. But it's been so hot. But anyway, here's today's find. This, what I could find, I'd worked this place a couple of times before. But I thought it was easy to get to without walking, walking so far. So I thought I'd show you. But the oldest one I found today was this one right here. That's the old one. You wouldn't think it was. Yeah, it's rusting away, but that thing is 130 years old. Well, close to it. You can see the date here. 1898 to 1914 when it was made. That's an old shell. An old shell. Somebody hunting for dinner. And then I found this one. Burn them ridges. Right on the side of that ridge. Steep too. But anyway, this is a Winchester 16 gauge. Ranger, you see the date on hit. They started making this one, and uh, you see the date right there from the time they started making it till they quit making it. And that, that's a nice find. That'd make a good display. Of course, I found this one's not that old, but it is older than you think. See the date on it? 58 up to the early 60s, I know. But they started making plastic. Is in them rocks, so it's still good condition. It's at least 60 plus years old. Number six shot. That tells me these hunting squirrels. Even says squirrels on it. Squirrel load. That's when Winchester and Super X or I'm sorry, Winchester and Win and Winchester and Western come together. That's an old one. And here's a one that can't be that old, but it's still older than you think. But the metal's not that good in these newer ones. I couldn't recognize this till I got it home. It's a Winchester Super Speed. You see the date on that. That's at least 50, 52 years old. At least. This could be 60 years, 70, 80 years old. Don't know. That's just a, in between the dates when they made them. High brass. Another one here, really nice at the base of that old chestnut oak. Now, you got to remember, there ain't no American chestnuts here. That's a regular chestnut oak. I showed you the acorns to it. But anyway, this is a nice one. This is an old 410, and it's still got paper on it. It's what amazes me at the base of that old tree. It's so dry and rocky right there. It don't lay in water. It preserved it good. You see the date on that? But he got paper on it. He's probably the, on the latter end of it. Western Super X. And they made them from 1932 to 1964. 
So that's at least, that's at least 60 years old. Could be 70 or 80. You just don't really know. Old 410. At the base of that tree that's 100, 150 foot tall. Must be some young guy, young boy, learning to hunt. That's what his dad started him out with. Anyway, that's a nice find. And, of course, found an old 45 auto. And these 45 autos, same size as a 410. They'll fit in each other. And they make these, uh, these judges revolvers, they call them, they'll use a 410 shell or 45. There you go on that. And I did find an old bullet. This is an old baby. It's hard to pinpoint the date, but I, I have narrowed them down to late 1800s, early 1900s, a semi-wad cutter. And it looks like a 30 caliber. Looks like a crayon, don't it? The head of it. But they used these poplars for hunting way back. Semi-wad cutter. They just flatten out. You can see it. It's hit a rock or something. They've missed whatever they're shooting at. That's an old bullet. Solid lead. That's all it is. Solid lead. And of course, I found a bunch of 22s here. You tell about this old lead. You, you think about this lead is when it's when it's really old lead. You see how it's turning white. So that's a really old twenty-two. When it turned white like that. And that was a newer one. It's kind of like job a uh, copper jacketed. So that's not too old. But these. Some of them can be really old 22s. They've made these a long time. And that one probably ain't that old. But that one right there is. Yeah, it's turning white. That's how lead does it and lays in the ground too long. And yeah, I found some old trash. I didn't even, didn't even show some of it. That, I thought that was a shotgun shell. Red like one. That's an old rusty head of a nail, square-headed nail. How old is that? I don't know. And here's some of the trash you find. Old fence staple. They crisscross these ridges in their land for their cattle. Livestock way back. That looks like an old one. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. I just, I'm just, I'm so glad just to get back in these woods. You know, the good Lord saved my leg and I'm able to walk. I still have some nerve pain. But anyway, there's today's find. Yeah, I'd like to share something with you here. My old buddy Kurt, you've probably seen a video of old Mountain Kurt a hundred miles north of me here on the Kentucky Tennessee line around these old mining camps when I was back, back there in the spring. There's so much history laying there. And I got him into metal detecting. He got him a metal detector. And you can see what he's found here. Old script. What he can get into, it's so grown up. An old miner's tag, some old cannon lids, an old sign around these old mining camps, these old homes that used to be here, they're all gone. Just nature's took them back. There's nothing left of them. So I, I, me and him get together this winter. When it's good, I can get in all that kudzu and all that back up in there. And we find some good old stuff, some history. So I thought I'd share that with you. Well, anyway, guys, it's so good to be back in these woods. So I'm going to call it a day and head back out of these old hot woods. So thanks for watching. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you next time.